The right handle half is one of two housings that make up your saw's rear handle. The rear handle houses the throttle trigger assembly and is the saw's rear grip. Most problems with the rear handle are the result of accidental damage. The handle can be cracked or broken if something falls on it, or if the saw is dropped. Replacing the right handle half is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the side cover, the bar, and the chain from the saw. You always want to make sure that you have the brake unlocked before removing the side cover. Now I can remove the top cover. Now I'll remove the starter assembly from the saw. Now I'll remove the air filter so I can access and remove the throttle linkage. The throttle linkage is held in place by this blue lever. To remove it, I'll use a small screwdriver to push it out and then pull it up. Now I'll remove the front and rear handle assembly. It's held to the saw with three screws. Now I just give the engine a little twist. and slide it out of the handles. Now I'll remove the front handle from the rear handle. Now I'll remove the left side of the handle from the right side. It's secured with three screws. Now I'll remove the trigger and the trigger lock. and now remove this isolator mount. Now I can install the new right handle half. I'll start by reinstalling the isolator mount. The isolator mount is rectangular and I want the long sides of the rectangle to be up and down. Now I'll reinstall the throttle trigger and lock. The throttle trigger fits over this pin. 
I want to make sure that this tab on the back of the trigger is inside the housing. Now I'll reinstall the trigger lock. The spring wire needs to go on top of this tab. The end of the spring goes inside the trigger lock and then the trigger lock mounts to this post. Now I'll reinstall the left side of the handle and secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the front handle to the rear handle. Now I'll reinstall the engine assembly back into the handle assembly. Now I'll reinstall the throttle linkage. I thread it through this grommet and into the slot on the handle. Then I'll place it on the throttle plate and secure it with the blue lever. And I can reinstall the air filter. Now I'll reinstall the starter assembly. Now I'll reinstall the top cover. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the bar and chain.